chapter 3-4 Estimating Sums and Differences There are three ways in which we can estimate sums and differences and we're going to learn about all three today. We're going to start with one that we've used before which is rounding. The problem says estimate using rounding and the problem is $45.27 take away $4.87. The first step in doing a problem like this with rounding is simply put rounding. And I'm going to round to the nearest ones. I end up with 45 and 5. And I replace the two original numbers with my new rounded numbers. The second step, do the problem. 45 take away 5 is 40. A second method of estimating is front end estimation. In this case, we're just going to use the front numbers. But let's give it a try. 26.4 plus 13.5. The only numbers I'm going to pull are going to be 26 and 13. I'm not even going to worry about the decimals. Now that I've pulled the numbers, I simply do the math. And 26 plus 13 is 39. Finally, the third method of estimation is called clustering and we use this when we have several numbers. In this case the problem is 0.86 plus 0.9 plus 0.93. The first thing that I'm going to do is I want to choose a number that all three of those numbers are pretty close to. And in this case they're all very very close to 1 so I'm just going to change each of the numbers to 1. The next step is to do the math problem. Now there's two ways I can do it. I can straightforward add it and get 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3. But for some of you who want to do it quicker, I have three numbers, and if each one is worth 1, I can do 1 times 3. I'm still going to get 3 as an answer. This has been Chapter 3-4, Estimating Sums and Differences. If you would like more further help or other questions arise, please feel free to email me or reach me at my website. Thank you very much and have a great day.